people use the internet in different ways and some point out that they find the internet not that expensive while others believe it is expensive when you take into the account their income and ask that prices be reduced. Depending on the work that you want to do or what you want to use it for, internet is very expensive and we believe that the cost of internet connectivity is very high these days. I buy a weekly bundle of 3,000, but when I look back, it's a lot of money I'm spending compared to what my income is. But because there's no option, I have to buy it anyways. If they would reduce it, we would buy bigger bundles like before. That would be great because when you look at people's income, internet is expensive. Eragaba Elijah is the technical director at Korea Telecom Rwanda Networks, a fourth generation 4G and fiber optic internet monitoring network. As internet vendors, he says the internet is generally expensive, although not very expensive, as most of the internet users' needs come from external or hosting stores, such as the United States and Europe, which require the use of submarine cables by using fiber optic leads, which becomes expensive because of crossing other countries, renting towers, all for the internet user to get what he or she wants. He says all of this is because Rwanda is landlocked, affecting internet costs. Both networks, we use fiber optics and find that service is expensive to get to Europe or the United States where you need that content and find that we're going to spend money. In addition to the underwater cables, there are towers. All this for a trader to make a little profit, it's important to take care of all these things. Especially these days, Rwanda is getting a lot of content from abroad, and we're trying to build our content in Rwanda so that people will see it without having to first turn to foreign content. In the ITU report, they analyzed the overall cost of technology in countries, as well as the percentage of the cost of technology used compared to the general population. This is where Rwanda ranks 30th among the world's most expensive internet-based countries, where the average citizen spends 7.1% of all their income on mobile phone internet. It's also a study that shows that the average Rwandan citizen uses 2 gigabytes while online. The UN considers internet cheap when 1.5 gigabytes does not cost more than 2% of a person's monthly income. Rwanda Utilities Regulatory Authority points out that the report was compiled in a way that compares internet prices to the country's economy and that all countries do not share the same amount of income and income per capita per year which has nothing to do with the fact that the internet itself in Rwanda is more expensive than in other countries. Based on the statistics, I would not say that the internet in Rwanda is expensive. Of course, as long as the price is better than the existing one, it is easier for the people. But we cannot say that the internet is really as expensive as the one who reads that report would think. For a person who buys one gigabyte, depending on how you use the internet, you can use it for one to seven days, depending on what you use it for. I think we should not be saying that the internet is really expensive, because we can say that the country, we are still on the road to rebuilding our capacity as Rwandans. Life is expensive in general, but we can't say that the internet is expensive compared to other things on the Rwandan market. Rura says that in the last two years, the government has invested 100 billion Rwanda francs in distribution of internet in Rwanda. It has reached 95% of the country's population, with 62% of the people with internet access having telephones. And in the last seven years, internet prices have fallen by more than 80%, the lowest in the region and on the African continent. Globally, the internet is estimated to be between 0 to 30 US dollars per one gigabyte, while in Rwanda it is often less than two or even one dollar. The country's per capita income is rated at 825 US dollars a year, or about 783,750 Rwandan francs.